Okay, so what's your full name? My full name is Minnie Watson. Okay, and so uh, how did you get involved with uh, affordable home care? So you say something like, well, I, you know, here's how I, I got involved with Okay. I got involved with uh, affordable home care. I retired from uh, a behavior health. I was manager of group homes and I retired for about, I was, I had stopped working for about two years and I was like, oh, wow, I can't do this. This, it, it was harder not working than working. So I decided to do some research and apply for, I said, maybe I'll do something a couple of days a week in uh, home care. So I applied for about three or four. They all called me. I went on interviews and everything. And affordable was one of the places. And I, re I did research. I read, went back and read the history, you know, of uh, affordable. And I, I, so it was something about it, I just liked it. And I said, I think I'll give this one a try. The other ones, um, I called and let them know that I was gonna turn them down, you know. And uh, I didn't say why, you know, I just said I didn't think it was a good fit for me. And I came for an interview here with Austin. And I, the, the feeling you get when you come in here is awesome. They make you so comfortable. They, um, I've been with them now for three and a half years. And I feel like a family, like I'm a family member. Uh, they really show appreciation to the staff, their consumers. Uh, I, I, I love it. Um, is this, have you ever worked in a, a group facility home, like similar to what you do here at all? And is there a difference? I have worked in a group home. Yes, I worked in a group home for 15 years. Uh, it was on a home. It was on Seven Mile there at the Southfield Freeway. It was there for many, many years. And um, it's, it's uh, the difference between that and what you do here you don't have a chance as much time to get that one-on-one -on -one personal uh, relationship. Because in a, in a facility, you may have 20 clients in a day, so you don't, you don't have that time to spend, and that's what I love. I love having time to spend uh, with the client. You, and you learn so much. You learn. Just listen, you learn from them so much, and you find out that they're very, very interesting. Very interesting. What do you think makes a good um, caregiver? So start by saying what makes a good caregiver is. What makes a good caregiver? Number one, compassion. You have to have compassion. Uh, being able to, patience, understanding, um, being able to even put yourself in their place. You have to, you know, uh, understand, listen, uh, don't be in a, you, you can't be in a rush, you know, just take the time, take the time, and you have to have the heart for it. If you don't have the heart for it, you're not gonna, you're not gonna make it. Mm. You know, you're not. You know, when you were starting with the uh, affordable home care, did they put you through training of any sort? But were you, did you go through any training or take any tests, or did they just say, here, you start? Oh no, we can't. We had to come in, and uh, our, we went through uh, everything with Austin. He went through the books. We have training classes. Uh, you, we have them online now. You know, everything is online, <laughs> you know. But no. Uh, and you had to uh, already be uh, qualified. Well, I, my background, I pretty much was up to date on everything, you know. But even now, you can go online 
and he they put on their site they put different classes on there so you can keep up you know with uh, what's going on why is that important oh it's change it's uh, why that's important because change things change and you have to be able to you know change with it so it, it's hard for some people it's hard for some people to change some people don't like change i love change you know that's progress i love change and um so that's very important when you um, get assigned to a client um do you, is there always a good fit for you there or do you have you ever had not had a good fit and how's that worked out whatever cannot say I've never had a good fit with a client. I may not have a good fit with uh, the uh, family maybe, but I win them over. We come together, you know, we come together. And not so much is, is about um, maybe certain ways they want things done and I introduce a, maybe a better way or an alternative to what they're doing and they seem and you know they grasp on and they're like, oh okay it's like they see you know what you're doing or you know what you're you know talking about you know but having a client that i think i like the most difficult uh clients because i feel like i can work i if i work with them and i can see a change in them then that makes me feel that I'm accomplishing something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, what's a typical day like for you? Oh, well, with the right now, uh, when I first started with affordable, a typical day, uh, when I first started with uh, affordable, I had, it was two clients I was working with back and forth. Well, one of them uh, passed. And that hurt but um and so now i'm just doing one client and i go in uh, make sure she get her medication have her uh, breakfast and lunch dinner um go on doctor's appointments or hair appointment nails appointment i keep her nails done we you know we go we go out for lunch we go shopping and we just uh you know a great fit. Nice. Yeah. Um, have you? Uh, would you ever? Would you recommend other caregivers to come to affordable? Of course, I just did. You? Yes. I, would I recommend other caregivers to come to affordable? Yes. I just did yesterday. I recommended a uh, uh, person. Why? Yeah. Well, number one, she said she was looking for, you know, to do something a couple of days a week. I've known this person for quite a while, and I know she's a good person. And that's the only reason that I will recommend her is because I know she's a good person. There are some people, and I have friends, they are not a fit for this, you know? I won't recommend them, you know? I mean, you, you have to be, uh, I have to see that, that uh, she's had a, a big heart. You know, and she loves helping. So I said, try them, you know, put in the applications. Do, uh, does the company uh, take care of you? Are there benefits? And what kind of benefits do you have? Well, I know, yes, the benefits that uh, Affordable have, I know they have benefits. But by me, I already have like medical, dental, and whatever. I don't, so I haven't had to uh, get the benefits. Uh, I do know, um, I have been interested in looking into AFLAC with them though, but uh, you get, um, you get, you, you get medical and dental, you know, uh, with them. Is, uh, is that true of all companies? Like this? Do you know? I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know well, if that's true with every company. Question, though. Um, mm -hmm. uh, do they? I know you have ideas, and you're a smart person. Mm -hmm. I can tell. Do, does it affordable listen to your ideas? They 
taking suggestions. Oh, yes. Of course. Yes. Do they take your suggestions? Yes. I think they listen. They have to listen to me. You know? You yes, they that? listen. Uh, I think, oh, I think that's wonderful. That is wonderful because, number one, we are, I am the one that's out there. You know, I am the one in the field. I am the one doing this. So, therefore, I think it's very important that you listen to what I have to say because this is contributing to your business. I mean, you know, this is putting the word, letting people know that this is a great company. They listen to their employees. You know, it, it's easy to be the boss and sit behind the desk and, and dish out uh, orders or rules or whatever. But if you're not listening to what it takes to make it work, that's not good. That's not good. So um, if you're going to give advice to somebody for home care, um, and you're going to recommend affordable home care, why would you recommend affordable home care to a client? Why would I recommend affordable home care to a client? Because I think they will get the best. I think they will get the best in staffing. Uh, I think they will get the best. It, it, uh, it's not only with the staffing, but you also with management. That is very important. Uh, I, can, I can tell you uh, what happened to me. The client that I had that's deceased, I um, would had to take her, well, I would take her to the airport when she was going to visit her daughter. And her son was a pilot. So I had the clearance and thing and all that. He had it already set up where I go to her right to get on the plane. So we would, you know, I took her to the airport and everything. You never know who's watching you. And when I got her situated and got her on the plane and everything, this lady came up to me and she said, excuse me. And I said, yes. Yeah. She said, is that your family? <laughs> and I said, no. You know, she said, are you, could you tell me who you are to her? I said, I'm her caregiver. She said, oh my God. She says, Oh, I have an um, uh, uncle, and I need someone. And would you be able to come and take care of my? I said, no. I said, you know, I wouldn't. I said, but I can give you the company uh, that I work for. I can give you their name and number. And I said, and the the other staff is is just as good as I am. And I said, uh, I gave her a card. I don't know if she ever called because I didn't get her information or her name or whatever, but I did give her the card. So how you react out in the community with your clients, people see that. And the one that I was putting on the plane, I genuinely, I loved her. I loved her. And um, right to this day, uh, her family still commu com communicates with me, you know. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's how you, you know, perceive yourself out in the community is very important. You know, I'm out there and I see uh, difference. I see people staff out with other clients uh, and I'm like, sometimes I say, hmm, they shouldn't be doing that. You know, or, you know, as far as leaving them, they may run into the store and leave them in the van or something to that nature. No, you don't do that. You know, you just, anything can happen. You know, you just don't do that. So affordable, I would tell anyone, if you want to be, if you're a caregiver, if you're a kind person, a loving person, and care about people, if you're looking for a job, apply to affordable home care.